Hello, John. Hello, Alba. Today we're going to talk about faith healers. Um, there's a, a faith healer uh, in Offaly called Joe Gulliher. He's the proprietor of the Pull Inn. He's a seventh son and has been curing people of various ailments since childhood. He was featured in My Cure and Me, which is selected to be screened at DOC NYC, the largest documentary film festival in America, along with a new documentary produced by the New York Times. So you can see this guy's fairly popular. Joe has also been a strong fate and was a Franciscan monk in his youth up until, until the age of 25, based at monasteries in Clara and Galway. Um, from 1960 to 1971, when he left the brothers and opened the pub um, in Offaly, um, he said that he enjoyed every day with the brothers and that they were the most lovely people. Joe also performs cures for people while in the monastery. And he, he has people coming all over the country to see him so that he can do various ailments. You know. So what's your take on faith healers? Well, they're very important, and uh, it's usually the seventh son uh, in in a family, uh, because there's one here near where I live in Oldcastle, and uh, I'm, I'm, Oliver is his name too, Okay. and I won't give his third name just to really keep him private, but he's a seventh son, and he is a cure for thrush. Uh, the lad in Offaly, I think, has cures for more than just thrush, he has cures for maybe other things, uh, but... Um, Another uh, sister of my late wife, uh, Philomena, uh, she she was born after her father had died. And when that happens, they often have a cure as well. And she had a cure for thrush, which was a common thing with young children. And uh, she was getting calls at all hours of the night. And she had to stop the ones coming and like that and uh, just stop it all together. And, uh, but she still did it for others that made appointments and that. Now, they don't charge, but people, you know, that come with problems, they make donations. They don't look for money, but they they do get um, rewarded in that way. They don't particularly look for it. If a person ca- hasn't got any of them, well, then that's it. It's done for nothing. Uh, but generally speaking, people certainly are very grateful for the cure that their children get or made themselves, and they they make a donation. And uh, so that happens. And so people do have seven sons have the cure. Once they are born after their father dies, usually in that case, uh, it's a different kettle of fish if the mother dies. I don't know anything about that. That would be a sad affair. and It's a very rare thing to happen. Uh, but... Um, with regard to the the, uh, the, the, the Judy's sister having the cure as well, because she was born after her father died, and um, which was, uh, you know, she wouldn't have known the father only for what they talked. And there you are, he died of, and he was a non-drinker, non-smoker, and he died of diphtheria after visiting nearly. He had a traction mill and did a good lot of work around and was fairly comfortable. Uh, and um, yeah, but he got diphtheria from visiting the house where the child had diphtheria, so it's extraordinary that an adult could get it. Uh, in 1946, when he died at for at 40, I think it was 49 years of age. Yeah, so with a young family, a large family, so it was tough going, and he was a good provider and all the rest of it. So they had a hard time then uh, managing. Uh, but the cure, the fake cure that you're talking about, is 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 it, it does that's that's what happens with the seventh son, uh, and which is a good thing. I mean, look, the fact um, the fact very, that he has he was a Franciscan monk, um, it shows that he had a strong faith, that he had a, a religious inclination, a spiritual inclination from a very young age, and apparently he was. He yeah, apparently he he became very aware of it as a child, and he used to carry out his cures as a child so this is maybe a gift from god or you know it's 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 it's, well, it's, it's very interesting god, right? it's, it's obviously from god because people wouldn't be able to acquire that but it, it apparently has something to do with that so they had large families them to him so now they have small families so you're not going to get too many new faith healers unless there's <laughs> a large family there certainly won't be Seven sons, yeah. I never thought of that actually, you know, that the good traditional Irish 
large family no longer exists. Right. Everybody, yeah. everybody has one child these days. That's right, and two if they're you know what they call a gentleman's family, uh, two a boy and a girl. But um, really, um, they shouldn't be like that because the birth rate's going down, and which is why they're allowing a lot of immigrants in and all the rest of us. That's no way to run um, anything. Uh, uh, husband, wife, and children make a happy home, but now it's apparently necessary, or the what would they call it, the media encourages women to that's married to to work outside the home, and if they've got children, they're in creches. That's no way to rear a child. I think uh, we were talking about that before. So, um, if if two people are working well, then a family is probably the last thing that they want. And that's a peculiar way to live, isn't it? Uh, it is. Your anyway, family is your brothers and sisters. I and, think um, this yeah, it's family, and that's normal. There was four in our family, and I think there was one died before, um, before they were able to be born. So there was a, it was a sad affair. I think I heard about that, but I'm the eldest in my family, so I, I'm the boss, if you like. <laughs> so anyway, well, so well done. Yeah. Well done to Joe Gallagher. Yeah. He's in Offaly and he's doing very well. He's gives, he's at least, you know what? He's giving people hope. You know, there's one thing that people do need when they're very ill is hope, you know, because they, Correct. you know, and, and, that's... and they will, they'll go to faith healers and they've done that. And generally speaking, it works. Uh, there's other ones that have cures for different things. And I don't know even if they have a cure for, for cancer, some of them. Mm-hmm. There's more than one. There's there's quite a few faith healers in the country in different parts, and I know people that have illnesses often make various inquiries and all the rest of it as to know where one is a faith healer that will deal with their particular problem, mm-hmm. and they'll go to any lengths to go to that where that person is. They will and indeed. try to get a cure. So there is uh, there is there is. Um, it, it is it, it does it does cure people are cured have been cured with faith healers especially the faith healers that are practicing their catholic faith it seems to be once and the man that's beside me practices catholic faith and funny enough he's not married he's the seventh son mm-hmm. and um he, he never married so um but he's a uh, re- pretty religious you know he goes to mass and all the rest you know, go to mass and maybe maybe fairly regular. And he takes exercise, he goes around the bicycle, he hasn't even got a car. <laughs> so there you are. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you.